If you've been watching the news, you know that our world is changing dramatically. We're seeing huge storms, tornadoes, cyclones, volcanoes with record numbers, 2014 and now going into 2015. Intense heat pouring out on our planet, and we're seeing forest fires like we've never seen before. And of course, the fearful sights like the volcanoes and the many earthquakes that are coming. Let alone, the glaciers are melting because of the intense heat from the sun. And the Bible is very clear that creation is groaning. Take a look at what the Lord warned us about for these last days concerning the creation. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. But we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. The number of volcanoes in 2014 set a record, and in 2015, we're on the mark to do that all over again. And so we're seeing an increase of volcanoes. There's another one that caused an earthquake, a 6.3 in Alaska, and that they found out was near an active volcano. And the Sun Star in Manila on July the 29th showed us another report Eight quakes jolt Mount Ulusan. Then there was another earthquake that was reported also on July the 29th. The magma is rising in Ubina's volcano. The Ubina's volcano registered an ascent of magma in the form of polarized ash and rocks. Here's a picture of what that volcano looked like. So the fearful sights that Jesus warned us about are accompanying these sites with major earthquakes as well part of the prophet. Jesus has warned us in the book Revelation about the intense heat and the famine and the droughts that are going to associate along with this intense heat that's being poured down on the earth. And we read that it's going to scorch, the heat is going to scorch the earth, it's going to scorch the people of the earth. So seeing all of these wildfires and some of the worst dry conditions we've seen really runs parallel to the warnings in the Bible. We've seen these massive floods, the volcanoes, as I said. They're earthquakes that are coming faster and faster. Now, there's an article that came out with the title, 2015, a year of record-breaking extreme weather. The first thing out of the chute, they show us a picture of one of these recent fires, these forest fires, and you can see that this definitely runs parallel to the warning of the Lord Jesus Christ scorching the earth with fire. In the state of the climate released annually by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration found that 2014 was a record year for extreme weather. The warmest year across the globe, land, and ocean services since records began in 1880. In other words, it was the hottest year ever recorded on Earth. This year is shaping up to be no different as 2015 has seen record-breaking heat, cold, precipitation, and drought. Here's a running list of this year's frightening new milestones. And we go January. Globally, January was the second warmest on record, and the sea ice cover in the Arctic was at its third smallest. 
Now, in February, Boston endured 64.8 inches of snow, the snowiest month in the city's history. The last of the snow didn't melt until July. We're talking summertime here. In March, New York and Vermont experienced record cold temperatures for the first three months of the year, beating records set almost a century ago. April, California snowpack shrunk to record low levels as a result of drought and warmer winter temperatures. And again, in Revelation, we see that the Lord talking about showing us the lack of drinking water. Also in April, South Dakota had its driest January to April ever, reaching a mere 42% of its average precipitation for early spring. In May, Alaska had its warmest May on record. Florida had its hottest March to May ever, and a tropical storm, Anna, when it made landfall in South Carolina, became the second earliest tropical cyclone to hit the U.S., in recorded history. Oklahoma and Texas had their wettest month of any month on record with widespread flooding across the region and that again took place in May. In June, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio had their wettest June on record while Pakistan suffered its deadliest heat wave ever with the death toll topping 1,100. The heat index peaked at 121 degrees. That is hot, people. And California, Idaho, Oregon, Utah, and Washington all had their hottest June ever. And so did the Earth. And then we're talking about records for the Earth. This Associated Press article that came out July 20th of 2015 from Washington. It said the Earth dialed the heat up in June, smashing warm temperature records for both the month and the first half of the year. And it also said, in fact, the first six months combined were the hottest ever. Combined with the last six months of 2014, it was the hottest 12-year stretch in 136 years of record keeping. Now in July, a heat wave brought record temperatures across Europe as Germany hit an all-time high of 104.5 degrees. Due to a tropical storm, Dolores, California received more rain over a single weekend than it did during the entire month of January, usually the state's rainiest month. Now, there's a video that talks about these extreme weather patterns and events that are taking place in 2015. So below the video that I'm presently doing now, I'm going to put up the link so that you could watch this video talking about the extreme weather. It's about a 25 to 30 minute video, but well worth the while of watching it so you can see how the earth is groaning to be delivered, just like the Christians who are waiting for the Messiah, eagerly looking for the redemption of our souls as the Lord calls us home and we know that that can't be too far off because of all of the signs that are taking place.